Hi, welcome to Juju's Bar. Today we're gonna mix a new agua fresca cocktail. <music> So I got the recipe for this cocktail from the Cocky website because I'm looking for more cocktail to do with this Cocky Rosa, a delicious cousin to the Cocky Americano. And I found this cocktail that tickled my attention. It's by Ella Zvi, a broken shaker in Miami, Florida. And let's get down to mixing this. First of all, I'm gonna get some ice right from the refrigerator. And then we are gonna start adding our ingredients. Starting from honey syrup, the original recipe just says honey, but honey wouldn't quite easily dilute inside a cocktail, so I'm using honey syrup, three to one. Three parts honey, one part water. And then we go on with 50 milliliters of grapefruit juice, pink grapefruit, which I just squeezed two minutes ago, and I'm gonna actually filter this because there was some pulp floating around then we are gonna need 50 milliliters again of this cocky rosa cocky rosa as i said before yes these wonderful flavors of berries but because of the color and the king content it matches perfectly with grapefruit pink grapefruit that is and then for our main alcohol ingredient that's gonna be tequila I have here this Espolon Reposado which I got for pennies last year so I'm not complaining and yeah it's pretty good anyway and we do with two ounces or 60 milliliters and that's about it let me give this mixture a stir. Let me add a few cubes just to complete this glass and let's give a bit more of a stir. And let's finish by decorating with a grapefruit slice. And that's about it, a new Agua Fresca cocktail. Cheers. Nice, nice, nice. Actually, I think the Reposado tequila works better than a normal tequila in this case. It merges really well with the honey and the grapefruit. And the cock is just there to lace everything together really well. It is quite a strong drink though. Maybe a dash of soda will help make it a bit lighter. But I really like it like this because the honey and the cocky and the grapefruit really works great together. This is a good use of the cocky rosa. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with anybody you like and don't like. Steal yourself something with tequila and or cocky and or honey and or grapefruit. And hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. As you can see, I'm in my hometown of Vorzenovi and I was just thinking about the song by Bruce Springsteen, my hometown kind of similar feelings linking me to my hometown, good and bad. I really like this place, but sometimes it can be quite annoying. Anyway, about Bruce Springsteen, I just saw him live a few weeks ago in Monza, Italy, and it was quite an experience. Even though now is a bit on the older side, but it was a pretty good concert. He started out the concert with No Surrender, which is one of the few interesting songs that kind of switch the topic of the song in the middle or like at the beginning without you really recognizing what the song is all about. It starts out lyrics wise like a song about uh, an overall of love stories like a Billie Jean 
or like uh, Born to Run, Find the Road, uh, Baby Let's Get Out from This Place. But when you switch into a Vietnam War team, like uh, Born in the USA, and it's a quite interesting trick to make that switch during a song. The most famous I can remember, the most interesting, it's uh, In Cortez the Killer by Neil Young. I'm not a biggest Neil Young fan, but I love Zuma and in Cortez the Killer he pulls off this thing where it's supposedly a song about ancient uh, civilization in South America, but then it becomes a love song all of a sudden. Yeah, that kind of song is quite remarkable and uh, well, those are two great songs. No Surrender also has a great drumming intro by Max Weinberg and a great bass line by Gary Talent. Love the song.